this topic, you will learn how to use purchase inquiries, including list of purchase orders, purchase order lines, supplier invoice lines, receipt lines, supplier return lines, also how to export and print. Now there are many inquiries available that allow you to review information and transactions in purchasing. The type of inquiries included in purchasing are purchase requests, used to view information for request lines entered. You can also define selection criteria to filter the information displayed. There's orders that allow you to view information specific to orders entered in purchasing. There's receipts, which allows you to view information for receipt lines and receipts entered by period. Invoices that provide information on invoice lines, invoices by period, and invoice ranking for suppliers and payment approval. Also returns, which provide information on returns entered, return lines, returns by period, and return ranking chart by supplier. Additionally, you can access the same inquiry functions within a purchasing transaction. Now let's take a look at some of the purchasing inquiries. Now under the purchasing module, we go to the inquiries block and we'll start off with the orders inquiries or a list of orders. So we go to the orders submenu and select list of orders. Now immediately it pulls up according to the criteria that's set here, which is a start date and end date and pulls up all orders according to that criteria. So if you want to be able to be very specific in what you want to pull up, you enter the criteria. So we'll enter in the company, an actual site that we would like, not an order range, supplier range, but we'll select the date range. And this is the criteria that we would like. You click search to bring you the results. Now, I can also save this criteria if I ever wanted to pull this up again for this site and that date range by clicking on criteria, which allows you to enter criteria here as well. To save it, I click on memo, I enter in the code, click OK to save the parameters, and let's say I'm out of the inquiries, I go back in, and I can go to criteria, go to recall, pull up the code, or any codes that I have saved, and click OK to pull the results. You also can export it out to Excel by going to the action icon above the lines, clicking on Excel Export, and then clicking Export here in the right panel, and then the Excel icon, and then click OK to open up and save the results if I decided to. You also can print the results by clicking on the print button and then select record. And then we can open up the results here and you can see the results. That's printed and of course being able to save it anywhere you like. As mentioned, we're looking at the order inquiry for other list of orders. You also have access to the different inquiries in any transaction. Let's go to Purchasing, Orders, Block, and then Orders. Open up our entry transaction. And on the right panel, under Options, I can select Order Inquiry. And what do you know? It pulls up the actual order, but I can enter other criteria of additional orders. As you can see, I have access to the same inquiry. Let's take a look at another inquiry. Let's go to the orders lines. You can see it's basically the same. The header where you can select the criteria according to whatever criteria is there. You can see company, site, product, by order, by supplier, whether it's closed or not, or signed or not, and the date. You can also go to each line of any of the inquiries, select the action icon to pull up just the specific line in a pop-up view. You also have other options on any line. If you ever go to supplier order, the customer order, also the purchase journal traceability, allowing you to trace it all the way back to the origin. Let's take a look at the invoice line. Here is by company, by site, by product, by business partner. Also, you can pull up invoices, posted or not, and credit memos, along with the range of invoices. On the line itself, I can expand this. We can see the details of the line. 
And let's take a look at receipt lines. And look at the criteria you can use here. Company, site, supplier, invoiced or not, posted or not, product, start and end date, and receipt number, along with being able to expand it as well and be able to see the details of the lines. And finally, the return lines. Here it's by company, by site, supplier, product, validated or not, invoiced or not, start and end date. Same type of scenario. You can save it, export it, view each line individually in a pop-up view mode, and trace it back to its origin as well. And now you know how to view purchase inquiries lists, how to export and print the results of your inquiries, and also how to set memo or save for reoccurring selections.